What is up, guys? It's Sarah here. Um, I'm gonna start doing star reviews, which, um, if you don't know what a star is, you guys are freaking nuts. Because it's number one celebrity magazine. It's really not. I don't know if that's real or not. Nothing. I don't know if any of this is real. It doesn't matter. I still find it entertaining. So, uh, we're gonna start out with this article. Which says, Furious Gwyneth, uh, keep that Kardashian away from me! So we all know that Gwyneth Paltrow is like the number one most hated celebrity in Hollywood. And nobody likes her in Hollywood. She's gonna keep running her mouth, obviously. Um, and it's. I was reading through it, and who the fuck said she could be in Iron Man 3? Because she sure as hell is really old, and. That's really crazy. But uh, now I have no reason to watch it. Unless I go to the movies and watch it and make fun of her through the entire thing. That'd be awesome. Um, so, so anyways, the article talks about um, the fact that Gwyneth is having a feud with her lifelong uh, trainer, Tracy Anderson. And uh, Kim, Kardashian, Kim Kardashian is to blame. Uh... Kim, or I mean, Tracy had a uh, opening uh, festival thing, Majigger, for her new gym in, in Brentwood, California, on like, April fourth. Um, and uh, little did Gwyneth know that Kim was invited. And uh, according to Star, Gwyneth was livid when she, uh, when Kim showed up and hogged all the spotlight. I sense a little jealousy there. And Kim was really, like, the last person Gwyneth even wanted to see. So she's probably, like, so pissed off. Like, what the fuck is this woman doing at this fucking party? Um, it says here uh, from an, a fucking source of some sort, Gwen is all about her natural look. So she hates being around anyone with too much plastic surgery. And Kim falls into that category. So, you know, Gwen kept her cool during, you know, the festivities and stuff. And, and then afterwards, she, like, blew up on this woman... And, uh, she said that her and Kim were to never cross paths again, and that, uh, this database thing can shut the fuck up, uh, that, uh, it's gonna pop up again, probably, but, uh, she didn't want, she never wanted to cross paths with her again, and, uh, she told Tracy that, like, she needs to choose her, or choose Kim Kardashian, so I guess she walked away from that. Not really sure, but, uh... No matter what, Gwen, you're still the number one most hated celebrity in Hollywood, so I don't know why you have to run your mouth. Dude. So I go on to my next article that I thought was hysterical, and it's the one up here. Justin is too sexy for Omen. It says, Justin Bieber was forced to cancel his Middle Eastern concert in Omen after religious leaders in the Islamic country reportedly uh, said his performances were too sexy. Speaking of the freaking devil, he's on the radio right now. That's fucking weird. I just think it's funny because I don't think Justin Bieber is sexy. You know, I'm a lesbian, so I don't think, like, he's sexy. I don't... Nothing like that, but he... Girls from, you know, what I hear, he's attractive. I don't think he's sexy, so I think they're a little bit, uh, too, uh, a little bit in too deep for all of that. Yeah. I just think that was, like, the funniest thing ever that, you know, they, they had to cancel a show. But anyways, um, the next one is this one down here. Not Betty White making out with that guy, but Surrey Cruz. All I want to say about this is, just look at her face. Kate cannot... Deny that that's her fucking daughter. And why the fuck does she have an iPad? I want an iPad. She's seven years old. She don't need an iPad. Honestly, what the hell? I'm so jealous. <laughs> I don't want an iPad either, but... uh, So, like, this new... There's a new movie, like, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 coming out. Like, I don't know when. And, uh... Jamie Foxx plays Electro, and he was seen in his mask. Isn't that fucking weird? 
Like, if I was walking down the street and saw that guy's face, uh, I'd be like, what the hell? I'm tripping or something. Like, that's fucking weird. Like, you don't, you realize you have, like, lights on your face? Like, seriously, dude. Alright, so, this one's funny because, especially since I realized that, um, it's this one up here. Neener, neener, neener. It's Bruce Willis and his wife. Okay, I thought it was his daughter. Like, they're at fucking Disneyland on the fucking roller coasters with his wife, okay? I didn't realize that. But I don't care about that, and I don't care about any of that. I just think this guy right here, he's wearing a fucking suit and tie at Disneyland. Like, who wears a suit and tie at Disneyland? It's fucking an attraction. I mean, I'm an amusement park. It's an attraction. Why would you wear a suit and tie? Like... What if somebody throws up on you? Like, dude, you have a suit and tie on. There goes your fucking shirt. Your good shirt and all that stuff. Only in California. Like, I'm from Pennsylvania. We don't wear fucking suits and ties to, like, Hershey Park or fucking Disney World. We don't do none of that shit. Like, we wear regular, normal clothes like everybody else. This next person. Zendaya. Look at the fruity pebbles. It's fucking raining fruity pebbles. It's actually really not. But she, I think she probably just threw them up in the air and was like, ah. She wanted it to rain. I mean, she probably wanted it to snow or something. But she's seen after her Dancing with the Stars uh, rehearsal outside, you know, throwing these fucking, like, fruity pebbles up in the air. Like, I want some fruity pebbles. Give me some fruity pebbles. If it rained fruity pebbles, my inner fat kid would come out and be like, ah. Hallelujah. You'd be so happy and she would probably like eat it all. No but none leave no nothing for nobody. Like honestly. So the news is out that Selena and Justin are together again. Let's read about it. Since recently releasing her new hit song, Come and Get It, Selena Gomez has taken her own advice. According to multiple sources, the 20-year-old singer's April 18th trip to Norway was to reunite with her ex, Justin Bieber. You know, the Biebs. Uh, while the baby singer, 19, was in the country's capital of Oslo for a performance on his Believe tour, <clears throat> going worldwide with that, um, Selena quick, uh, she kind of like snuck backstage and... Uh, a source says they have a crazy connection, and uh, a s after Star exclusively revealed um, the, the pain, the pair's breakup after uh, Elena was cheated on with uh, uh, Justin cheated on her with like a fucking girl I never heard who the fuck is that. Justin seems to have finally convinced Selena to take him back. Uh, the singer even uploaded a photo of him and her getting all mm -hmm, cozy with her on April 20th, and then he shortly after deleted it. All I gotta say is, don't break up again, because if you break up again, I swear to you, like, things are gonna go fucking crazy. He'll be getting, like, tattoos all up his arm, thinking he's gonna be a rapper someday, and then, like, uh, 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 uh like, acting out, like, smoking weed, and getting high, and, ooh, and shit like that. Like, dude, come on. Last article I have to read to you guys is the top one. Uh, Leah Michelle is standing by her man. And if you guys don't know, Leah Michelle and Corey Monteith play Finn and Rachel on the uh, Fox's like, hit show, Glee. And, uh, you know, they play as like a couple on there. But guys, they're, couples in, they're a couple in real life. And if y'all don't know about Corey Monteith, uh, Actually, I think it was like April 1st or something. He admitted himself to rehab for substance abuse. And he has been struggling with that like all his life. Shit, so. Um, uh, it says, Leah Michelle is one dedicated girlfriend. Friends say the actress, 26, is determined to make her relationship with Corey Monteith work. And is ignoring Pal's advice to ditch the troubled actor. Leah, who also plays 30-year-old... Corey's on-screen love interest in Glee is using another Hollywood couple, Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban, as a model for how to stay strong. And for those of you who don't know, 
Just four months after their 2006 wedding, Keith uh, went into rehab, and now the couple is better than they've ever been. Leah loved how Nicole stood by her man, and uh, friends and family are urging her to leave Corey, but she intends to be there for him. She believes that with enough love and support, he would beat his demons, and they can live a happy life together. And you know what? I get, wish you guys the absolute best with that because you guys are so precious. All right, so I'm going to wrap this video up because it is like 10 and a half minutes long. So uh, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll come at you with another video when I get the chance. So I know this video is long, but you should check it out because it's probably entertaining. I will catch you guys later.